the first player who we feel has been an offseason acquisition that honestly has worked out very well yeah. for both sides, honestly, not even just on for the team, but it's for Gordon Hayward. So Gordon Hayward signed a actually was part of a sign in trade between the Boston Celtics and the uh uh Charlotte Hornets where Hayward signed a four year hundred and twenty million dollar extension uh contract. And he's been fantastic this season. You know, he's averaging about 19 points a game, six rebounds, four assists, shooting about 42% from three. And he's just found a great role in Charlotte. Like, and I think like both of us were pretty critical of this move just from the standpoint that, you know, Boston was a winning organization. It was stable. It was, you know, you had... Not me, bro. That was you. Okay. That was you, not me. I said it was a good move. I don't know about the contract. I said, I said the contract wasn't great, but I said it was a good move for Charlotte. Listen. I'm gonna say this for Charlotte especially was my my concerns for Charlotte was paying that much money to a guy in Gordon Hayward who you didn't really know was going to be that superstar level player like you paid him almost max level money here, so that was my skepticism for Gordon Hayward. But now credit to him, he really stepped up and he's really you know you know taking advantage of of this role in Charlotte. You know he's really rekindled some of the success he had in Utah, being that creator, being that scorer that playmaker that he's always been known for that quite honestly he just wasn't able to do much of it in Boston just because there wasn't you know as many touches to go around and you can see now in Charlotte and without him in Boston actually how much of an impact he actually did make on that team you know Mm -hmm. he was a huge impact for the Celtics and this season they haven't found anyone to fill that role and uh you know I think for the Hornets it was it was Honestly, one of Michael Jordan and Mitch, Mitch Kupchak's probably better moves they've made as, as an organization. You know, signing a guy, he's a good veteran presence for this young team. You know, he's very stable, very steady. And he's a great compliment to some of the younger players. Like, he's a good player to play alongside LaMelo Ball, you know, being that, you know, like a scoring outlet. And then also with the bigs, because Gordon Hayward's good at facilitating a pick and roll with, you know, like a Miles Bridges or a P.J. Washington. So it kind of worked out. You know, obviously, I was very skeptical. Uh, of this move, but this is this has been a pretty good move for the Charlotte Hornets. Yeah, like in regards to the contract, like that was probably my one point of concern, especially when you look at Gordon Hayward's injury history, who, um, which he hasn't really been able to get around even this season. You know, right now he's out. All right. Yeah. Um, so giving that guy a hundred twenty mil, um, giving him thirty mil per year. Uh, you know, gave me a bit of skepticism in terms of that. Like, I knew he would be a good fit in Charlotte, but I didn't really, um, you know, know about the contract situation. The thing is, though, if we're being real, that's kind of the market for a player of his caliber, right? Like, you, I guess. Yeah. Love it or hate it, that's pretty much the market for, for a player of his caliber. So, I mean, it wasn't like, I guess, any, uh, you know, sort of outrageously bad contract. It also helps that Charlotte has been having a very good year this year because if they were like the 10th seed or the 9th seed, I think we'd have a different outlook, a different perspective on this move because it'd be like, well, now you're locked in for $120 million for a guy that's only given you companies in the 9th seed. However, this season, they're in the 4-5 or five seed, you know, they're in the race to be a playoff team this year. So honestly speaking, we have to eat our, well, I have to eat my words and this was a pretty good signing for the Charlotte Hornets and for Gordon Hayward. I mean, he's been through a lot of, of stuff, especially injury-wise. So for him to secure the bag, you know, good for him, man. Yeah, like, um, again, even Charlotte went from, you know, a team that everyone thought would be trash to a legitimate playoff team in the Eastern Conference. And they've been, you know, one of the most fun teams to watch for a lot of people, in large part due to guys like Terry Rozier, who's been absolutely amazing. Um, uh, Another guy who did the from Boston. Yeah, uh, LaMelo Ball and Gordon Hayward. And then flipping it to Boston, to your point, like, we've seen what's happened to Boston, right? Boston has been absolutely terrible. It's great. Um, it, it's it's <laughs> it's fun for us as a Raptors fan, but it's gonna suck if you're a Boston fan, right? Because the core oh, and the who you didn't the, win one year. Their their core is still the same, right? Led by JT, Jason Tatum, um, Jalen Brown, right? But then you have Kyrie Irving. I mean, not Kyrie Irving, Kemba Walker, um, and then Marcus Smart. Besides that, however, like you're not getting much from anybody else. And that points to the main problem with those big four guys as well. That none of them are necessarily facilitators, right? And now you appreciate what Gordon Hayward did for Boston's offense, especially, right? Because of the fact that when he was there, he was playing with a guy like Kyrie Irving, who, you know, 
Kyrie's definitely better than Kemba, but they play a lot of the same ways, right? In terms of not being facilitating point guard. They're more about get your shot first. So what, that, that made Gordon Hayward such a critical point on the Boston Celtics offense. Now Boston's missing that glue guy, which has gone to Charlotte, and you're seeing Charlotte succeed because of it. So yeah, I think Gordon Hayward, maybe the contract you can argue is a bit too steep, Yeah. but he had a legitimate all-star case this year. He looks like the same guy who played in Utah. Um, and again, that is a market for a player of his caliber, so I think it worked out pretty well for Charlotte and for Gordon Hayward to Hani's point.